we are given an expression in which three multiplication signs are missing. If we put three multiplication signs back, the expression will become true again. It's necessary to put three multiplication signs to make the equality true and prove that there are no other options for placing the multiplication signs. This math problem was at a math Olympiad for middle school students. Give this problem a try, and when you are ready, continue watching the video to find the solution. Let's take a closer look at this expression. We can notice that the number on the right ends with 5. No matter where we place the multiplication signs on the right, the last factor will always end with 5, which means that the number on the right will always be divisible by 5. Therefore, the number on the left must also be divisible by 5. How can we make the number on the left divisible by 5? For a number to be divisible by 5, one of the factors on the left must end with 5 or 0. However, there is no 5 on the left side at all, and there is only one 0. Therefore, we must put a multiplication sign after 0. Thus, we have restored one multiplication sign and proved that the multiplication sign must indeed be placed here. After placing the multiplication sign on the left after zero, we understand that the number on the left is even. It is divisible by two, because it will end with zero, as in any case one of the factors ends with zero, which means the number on the left is divisible by two. Then the number on the right must also be divisible by two. However, the original number on the right is not even. For the number to be divisible by 2, one of the factors on the right must end with an even digit. But in the number on the right, the only even digit is 6. This means that one of the factors on the right must end with 6. Thus, we must place the multiplication sign after 6 to ensure that the number on the right is also even, like the number on the left. So, we have restored the second multiplication sign and proved that the multiplication sign must indeed be placed here. What about the third multiplication sign? What else can we notice to avoid checking all possible options? We can notice that the number on the left is divisible by 3, because 93 is divisible by 3. And even if we wanted to remove the divisibility of the number on the left by 3 and placed a multiplication sign between 9 and 3, the divisibility of the number on the left by 3 would still remain, as both 9 and 3 are divisible by 3. That is, wherever we place the last multiplication sign, the number on the left will always be divisible by 3. This means the number on the right must also be divisible by 3, but at the moment it's not divisible by 3. This follows from the divisibility rules. A number is divisible by 3, if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. The sum of the digits of the number 7136 equals 17. 17 is not divisible by 3, which means 7136 is not divisible by 3. The sum of the digits of the number 95 equals 14. 14 is not divisible by 3, which means 95 is not divisible by 3 too. Therefore, the number on the right is not divisible by 3. So, we must place the third multiplication sign to the right of the equality sign. But where? As an option, we could place the multiplication sign between 9 and 5. In this case, the number on the right would be divisible by 3. But we cannot place the multiplication sign between 9 and 5. Why? Since in this case, the number on the right would be divisible not only by 3, but also by 9. But the number on the left is divisible by 3, but not divisible by 9. The sum of the digits of the number 4370 equals 14. 14 is not divisible by 3, which means 4370 is not divisible by 3. 93 
is divisible by 3, but not by 3 squared. This means the number on the left is divisible by 3, but not by 3 squared. Thus, when we place the third multiplication sign on the right, we must get a number on the right that is divisible by 3, but not divisible by 9. This means we cannot place the multiplication sign between 9 and 5, because then we would get a factor 9, and the number on the right would be divisible by 9. And we cannot place the multiplication sign between 1 and 3, because then we would get a factor 36, which is divisible by 9, and thus the number on the right would be divisible by 9. If we place the multiplication sign between 7 and 1, we will not get the divisibility by 3. Since 7 is not divisible by 3, the sum of digits of the number 136 equals 10, and 10 is not divisible by 3, which means 136 is not divisible by 3, and 95 is not divisible by 3. Therefore, there is only one option left. This is to play the multiplication sign between 3 and 6. Then the number on the right is divisible by 3, because 6 is divisible by 3. And at the same time, the number on the right is not divisible by 9, because the sum of the digits of the number 713 equals 11, and 11 is not divisible by 3, which means 713 is not divisible by 3. 6 is divisible by 3, but not by 3 squared and 95 is not divisible by 3. So, we have placed three multiplication signs and have proven that the multiplication signs must indeed be placed there, that there are no other options for placing the multiplication signs, therefore, these options must be correct. We can check the expression with calculations. There is a video on the channel that provides a detailed tutorial on multiplying multi-digit numbers. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. Bye!